It's that time of the year again. I know you guys love mm. it uh, to talk about origin footy. Now, both of you have been working hard all day at this. We've asked you to provide us with your packs for New South Wales mm. and Queensland. Spud, who's your New South Wales pack? We're going to put it up. There we are. There we right, go. I've got Payne Haas. I'll just go through it. Number one in the world. We've got Coruscant. He's got the Penrith combination. I'll come back there. Paseca. He deserves his opportunity to boo for uh, New South Wales. Uh, look, Kawato, I reckon he deserves his boo. He's amazing. Liam Martin, Penrith combination, Isaiah Yo. They're both workaholics. Mm. Then, look at this thing here. McGuinness, I love him. Mm -hmm. uh, he's old Scarface. He's uh, purpose-built mm. for origin. I love when he smiles with that one tooth missing. Uh, we've got Cameron Murray. Every side needs a Cameron Murray. But look at this one down the bottom. Nathan Brown. Oof. I call him the energiser man. Yeah. Double D batteries, put them where you got to put them. <laughs> <laughs> he runs from the back fence. He hurts people for fun. Yes. And he's been on a great form. Think about Madge. He wants players in form, and there's a form side. So you, you got, got no right. players. He's just smoking. Now, now, are you going to have a go against? I oh, said, so, no, I said, you want me to when Joe knows, and I respect you a lot, right? The thing Ooh. is, Ooh. you never ever strapped a pair of boots on. Oh, <laughs> oh And okay. you're very good with the pen. Right, eh? All right. But yeah. I, I think it's my only times played, I've helped you get through your only segment. played seven games. <laughs> and you're going to start on me. I, 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 I only played seven games, but I know what Origin takes, I, and I, that's exactly what it takes. So all right, well, there's no one. Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So, no, so everyone watching is not allowed to have an opinion either now, are they? Because they didn't I'm allowed to have an opinion, so are you. No, but I'm talking about those yeah, people who haven't played the game. This is my way of broadcasting, but you do on papers and blah, blah, blah. Just on that, there's no front row. He's coming with a bit of grumble. Oh, he's off the back fence today. There's no front row on the bench there, that's all right. What, well, what do you mean? Hey, hey. What do you mean? What's Brown? The, uh, well, is he the back row? No, he's not. Have you seen the size of him, mate? Like, the game has changed. The big boppers. Uh, he's a workaholic. Mate, he averages 15 hit-ups well, off the bench. Uh, just, just, just worry about your own just side, Billy. Anyway, that's all. Just worry about your own side. Uh, Billy, what do you got for us? What's the Queensland pack? <laughs> well, mate, the Queensland, was, there's been a few injuries. There's no Tino. There's no Tommy Gilbert, but this is my team. Uh, Flegler, who's been in good form for the Dolphins. Hunt. He's, in, uh, he's getting better and better with age. Mm. Ruben Cotter, smaller front rower, but uh, can play. You know, he's in that Jake Travojevic style. Fafita. Now, he's the, the one that he's the X factor in the back row. And he's been going good for the Gold Coast. I know they're 0 5, but Fafita has been damaging. Nanai just knows where to be. We talk about Isaiah Yo. He's rewritten how to play 13. He plays a certain style. Yeah. Carrigan plays the other. He's the high yep. work rate through the middle. His numbers every week are phenomenal. Off the, I've got a, obviously a pack full of forwards. Grant, Utility, Collins, Photo Waker. And 17, the next two weeks will decide because they're both in career best form. Young Lurero, mm. who's playing for the, the 13 mm. for the, the Storm. And Jaden Sewer. You know, he was almost a forgotten man, but I can just this year he's rediscovered something for the Dragons. So those two blokes are battling it out for the next over the next two weeks so to get that jersey. It was probably just ahead in my books, but yeah, yeah, that's a good pack. You've done well there, Billy. I've got I've got I've got a big front row on the on the bench too. Do you notice that? No more. Okay. okay. Well, the arrow's a bit of a smoke. He, he's a bit of an open well, he brown. is. He is. But I just think what what I've watched him do, the way he's improved from last year to this year, mm. he's one of those guys that he, he's on the way up. And if you gave him a chance, I reckon they should pick him, Billy. I, I thank you That's very much. That's my opinion. <laughs> All right, next one, uh, Michael McGuire. <laughs> you know, when he was at his press conference yesterday for the New South Wales Blues, he he, he spoke about character. He wants players with character. Have we, have we lacked character in the last few years? or what? what? Well, think about Madge. I love his passion. I love his intense face when he's just getting ready for game day. But um, he's been getting the old boys together, which has been fantastic, the included. Um, he actually organised a meeting with him at a cafe. I thought he was offering me a job, but he didn't. And he grabbed the New South Wales jersey out of the bag <laughs> and he put it down. He goes, I'm sure you what, are, what do you think about this? And I said to him, my old play. Age of 57, I'd love to put that back on. Yeah. But... He's going to have, as I said, he's picking players on form finally. When I, I was coming through, Kenny, I had to players, wait yeah. for my opportunity because last year I oh, played well, put him in. Mate, play on he's, form. He's not only picking on form. You know, that's, that's one thing I think New South Wales are falling down. I'm, mm. This is my opinion, if that's OK with you, Spud. <laughs> so, <laughs> <laughs> but too often New South Wales fall into the trap of just picking form. And, mm. and whereas Queensland will just pick a bloke. It's a combination of. It's not, it's not loyalty. It's not... This pick and stick all the time. It's not just the blokes in form. It's about the bloke that gets the job done. 
Yeah. Now, whether it's a bloke's out of form, but, he, but he's done, got the job done before, pick him. If he's in form, you know he's going to do the job when he gets picked, pick him. That, that's as simple as that. Get the bloke who's going to get the job yeah. done. And New South Wales have picked blokes who have been... You know, the old line, there's, there's players who are origin players and there are players who play origin. And they're not the same. Queensland always pick but origin can, players. We need, we need change. Wales. We need change. I don't, we I don't lost the years. Give some other blokes a crack. I don't disagree with you. Yeah. I, I don't disagree with you at all there. When I look at Maguire, I see someone who's going to uncomplicate it. Yes. He will pick the, t the best team mm. and he, he won't have any hidden agendas. He won't have to have any laws anywhere else. He'll just pick the best team. Uh, and that's what concerns me most from a Queensland perspective because if you get it right, you're going to put a hell of a side on the, on the park. Good to see you concerned. Brent Reid wasn't concerned last night. Uh, yeah, Origin coming up. The press conference was today. We got Madge up against Billy. What's the most crucial decision for Madge heading into the uh, Blue Series? I think um, he's hooker. I think does he want to try and push out an 80-minute hooker like a Appy Coruscant, Mitch Kenny maybe, a Reese Robson, then you keep that a forward on the bench like a, a Cam McInnes who can play in the middle or if there needs to be a bit of cover, you have that cover or if you go the two hooker, you go, say, Reese Robson to start and Appy off the bench or someone like Wade Egan off the bench with a bit of craft because... You, yeah, you, that hooking he position. Has be, he has to be happy though, doesn't he? Well, yeah, well, do you pick him to play 80 can yeah. you, and then have some cover on the bench? Because I'm almost imp as important as your starting team is your bench and how you use use that bench. We saw when they picked Nico on the bench, they had him on there, then almost all of a sudden they felt the pressure to use him, but they didn't really have a role for him mm -hmm. and they put him in a position that was unfamiliar. So getting those the balance of the team yeah. right and how you're going to use your bench. Because if there's, if there's injuries, you just got to deal with it. Right, but you've mm. got to pick your team as if you're going to run the perfect yep. um, game plan and bench rotation, and you've got to have the cover in that mm. rotation. Very good call, Jimmy. It's an interesting one for me for New South Wales because I reckon there's probably only six to eight players that are guaranteed their spot. You know, if you spoke to experts in the game and speak to different coaches, you know, Cleary is nailed on to play at mm. seven, but there's still question marks in around the fullback. Then who then therefore plays in the centre position? Mm. You know, is there a spot for somebody on the wing? Yeah, mm. the, the six is up for debate. You know, the, the hooker, all these key positions are still up for debate. And then the, the players that don't make the starting team then therefore take their mm. opportunity on the bench. And obviously... So much know, uncertainty there. there. There is. Which makes them the underdogs, Jimmy. Perhaps. Yeah. Like Perhaps it does. Yeah. <laughs> all right, what about Tedesco or Dylan uh, for fullback? What, what? I, I'd say if you'd have asked me at the end of last season... I would have gone with Edwards, but I think the way Tedesco has performed at the start of the season, I think he's been sensational. It's hard, he it's really hard not has. to give it to him the way he's played, right? Yeah. But then there's a big argument yeah. for Edwards. Really. And also, could Edwards play on the wing? He played on the wing for Australia. Mm. Like, would he still have that same effectiveness on the wing? Because that is a position that we've, you know, a few of us have spoken around. New South Wales being, you know, a, a, a tad light. Who would you go for here? I think if Teddy comes back from his head knock and yeah. he plays the footy for for a few weeks and he was early early doors, we pick him because he's our yeah. captain. Yeah. It's a big change, and not only change coach, but then the change captain as well yeah. on the back of that. So it's Teddy I for think me. He's earned, he's earned it this year too with the way yeah. that he's played. Uh, what about Victor Radley? Can can he play Origin? You'd, you'd have, would you have him in the team, Radley? I think with Victor, I would love to see him play Origin, but right at the start there where he's on the cuffs for getting involved, he got suspended yeah. and missed the series. I think he, then he missed the selection of game one and New South Wales came on and won that game yeah. and won the series. So he's been extremely unlucky in the times yeah. he's had to serve his suspension. But I have no doubt if he'd have had an opportunity early in his career around one of those times when he was out mm. either for injury or suspension, he would have been probably still in the team right now. Like, yeah. he, he's that sort of player. Also for lock forward, though, New South Wales have Isaiah Yeo, Cam Murray, Jake Dubrovich yeah. and Victor Radley. Mm. Yeah. Like, it's hard, hard to fit all four of those players in. It's a problem that New South Wales have quite a bit.